review the Stinger P311 caliber 0.6 millimeter BB gun made in China. Uh, you buy this at Dick's. It's actually a two pack. So we've got one and we've got two and we've got the BBs, both white and yellow. I don't have the Stinger pack in here, so you can't see that. I've had these for a little while. And this is the target that it comes with. It's kind of got a gel surface on here. And basically, you know, it sort of looks like a Glock. And it's got the uh, you know, safety lock, so you can't shoot it. Undo the safety lock. And here's the magazine. And then this is what the gun looks like. And it's got your tip, and you can, that's your slide. And it cocks it and loads it. So then we go ahead and we go over here. And we get some BBs. Bring it down. Bring the spring down. Just kind of force feed this in here. It's a little tricky. Sometimes you drop a few, but hey, whatever. Who cares? All right, that's enough. That's enough to make the point. So it's loaded, and you spin it around. Boom! Hear that? Clicked in place. We're locked and loaded, right? Safety was off. Now it's on. Oh, excuse me. Vice versa. Pull it back. Let's see if it shoots. Oh, it jammed! Try it again. Hey, we got one. Try to aim. It jammed again. Jammed, okay, three out of four times we're jamming. And jamming again. And that pretty much sums up what happens with these things, guys. Um, they're pretty much, they're pretty much worthless, in my opinion. But let's try another one. And if it shoots at all, there we go, shot out. But the majority of the time, people, this these these guns will just these BB guns. Yeah, see, there we go. They will just jam on you. So uh, they're kind of that's kind of in a nutshell what you have with these things. So they give you two of these, and they sort of look pretty cool. And you know, we've got the other one over here, and it sort of looks cool. And I guess we can try loading a couple more in here. And see what happens, but for the most part, most part people like my cool glasses here. For the most part, I'm definitely wearing safety glasses. Always wear safety glasses, people, when you're shooting these things, especially these pieces of junk that uh, have a tendency to jam all the thing over time, and you never know what's going to happen. One second it's shooting, the next second it's shooting 12 of them at once at you or something, and they're flying all over the place. And I'm in my basement here. You see people wearing the basement here. We we said, oh look, it's shooting. There it goes. See, that's what happens, people. The spring-loaded mechanism is so is so screwed up that it will literally just start shooting uh, you know, at pellets at you left and right when the spring goes. And I'm down here basically in the seven foot ceiling down here in the basement, so it's not fair. I'm in the short end of the ceiling here. The other side of the basement is eight feet, but this one's only seven feet. So load it up, got that? Got that loaded up? And then we're gonna make sure it's on safety, put it in. You heard the spring go already, so who knows what's gonna happen, right? Probably jam right away. Yeah, there we go. It always does. There was one. Nothing. 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 Yeah, it's kind of a joke, people. Yeah. It's kind of a worthless joke. Yeah, I, I would say. So, in my humble opinion, people, do not buy this. It is a total piece of junk. It has a spring loaded thing here, and it just the spring is just. You get more BBs on the floor everywhere else than you want to go. And then when you finally do get a shot, it goes left, right, north, south, east, west. It does every other way, direction, but where you want to go in. Uh, I guess it's okay if you want it for a couple of couple of shots when you first buy it. But other than that, yeah, it's it's a Stinger P11. Who's this, who's this made by? It's made by uh, Crossman. Available by Crossman Corp in Broomfield, New York. Don't buy it. It's a piece of junk. Later.